So new in for spring summer 2020, we have the Revit cargo trouser. And this builds in their own words on the success of the Alpha Chino that they released a couple of seasons back. This was a more formal Cordura canvas outer, unlike their denim trousers from the rest of the Urban Jean collection. And this was massively popular. It, it, sales exceeded Revit's own expectations enormously to the fact that you basically couldn't buy them for most of that first year because they were just undersupplied to the market. And this kind of builds from that same formula. So we have this same Cordura canvas outer, again, available in the black that we have here, but also in the sand color as well, more typically associated with chinos and cargo trousers. And this has these massive cargo pockets to make them an outright cargo trouser. But they have the same great features of this canvas to make it just look a bit more refined than just a denim. They have a stretch to the fabric to allow it to be very comfortable for use on and off the bike. And of course, being Revit, it has very high technical and protective spec as well. So from a couple of seasons back, we've had the introduction of CE approval. These are certified to level A, which is essentially the sort of standard for urban gear generally, but we've seen some things coming in with higher ratings. Now, a peculiar point to note about this is this is only A rated. I say only, it's a very big gray area out there generally. But the interesting thing is from a manufacturer or brand point of view, when you submit a garment for testing, you have to put it in for whatever level you think you're going to get. And if you fail, you have to go to the back of the queue and start the whole thing again. It's not a case of simply achieving whatever level it is according to the standard of the garment. Now this is an A, but it has a Cordura canvas outer, which is very hard wearing in itself. And we've seen other garments coming through that are certified to the same level that only have that and nothing more. But Revit have two layers of their own in-house aramid fiber underneath this. So this is an equivalent to Kevlar or something that you may be more familiar with, but it's essentially Revit's in-house version. And because they're not licensing it from somebody like Kevlar making it themselves, it's cheaper and more cost-effective and it keeps the price relatively low on this item at 159 pounds. But they've doubled this up. So this is gonna have masses of abrasion resistance. So there's very little doubt in my mind that this would have achieved a level double A had they bothered to put it in for that. But for whatever reason, it's gone through for A. But the point is essentially, this is C approved. This is a quality piece of gear from a brand that really know what they're doing. And this comes included as well at the price with C-Smart hip and knee armor included there. And this is the slimmest, most unnoticeable armor, as I say time and time again. So really there's very little need to worry about the intricacies of how you access the armor. In terms of taking it out, particularly the knees, if you're off the bike, it's very thin. You can quite happily walk around in it all day. If you do need to, then you simply take the trousers off and you access it from the internal pockets on the knee section and on the hip section too. And they come in different leg lengths, 32, 34, and 36. The 32 is by far the most common leg length. Here I am wearing the 32 waist with 34 leg as someone who is six foot two. The waist sizing on these is a little bit more generous than I would say the average point of um, genuine 32s in our lineup. So I can be a 32, 33 or 34, depending on the brand. And I would say probably I'm actually a 33 right in the middle of that. In these, I'm in the 32 and they're not overly tight. They are designated with the suffix SF, which stands in Revit terms for slim fit. And I don't think they go all the way to being a slim fit. I think they are slightly more relaxed than that suggests, but everyone's different. It depends on how chunky your legs are, etc., etc. But the style of the trouser, I think is appropriate for what it is designed to be as a cargo trouser. So it's not overly slim. It's not overly baggy. It does taper in nicely as well. So I do think they look quite smart combined with this canvas. Now I know some of you have probably already started typing, why did you show us such dark black trousers? We can't see them because the other color, the sand is very light and it's gonna just simply disappear under the studio lights here. So this is the only way you're gonna get to see anything at all. Um, but both colors are really nice and obviously offer something different and both are in stock and available right now. So in terms of accessing these pockets, you've got the Revit branded button either side and simply pulls open overlay flap. You've also got the uh, slant pockets on the upper here. And going around the top, you can see you've got quite a lot of different belt loops. And this is really useful because you can actually do it up nice and tight, particularly across the back here. You've got this double point here. So you can wear perhaps something like Revit Safeway belt, which is a sort of universal belt that enables the trousers you're wearing effectively to zip up to something like a Revit top to create a one piece effect, which is useful if you've got a more sporty lent over setup and you don't want to have an exposed lower back or worse, bum crack. Otherwise on the rear, you have these slightly angled horizontal pockets as well for storage access. There's no button or anything to do that up and also a very small Revit patch. So Revit are really doing a good job of kind of toning down any branding. You'll also notice just on the back of the knees, you do have a couple of horizontal sections there. So that perhaps suggests there's something a bit more bike functional orientated to the trousers. But overall, they're pretty much like you would want a cargo trouser just to look in its own right, which again lends itself nicely to being something you can use 
in both the on and off the bike spheres. Triple needle stitching going down most of the stitching, particularly this main stitch on the seam on the outside of the trouser. And that PWR shield, as I say, running pretty much throughout the majority in two layers. In terms of the way they feel, they don't feel particularly different, I would say, to a very high quality single layer jean. They are not particularly bulky and cumbersome. Take the hip armor out and they're actually pretty lightweight too. So in terms of fulfilling their own brief as to what you would want to achieve with this, I think they've done a great job. I think they look nice. What do you guys think? Is there anything that you would like to know about the Revit cargo trousers? Leave that in the section below and do subscribe to our channel as always to be the first to find out about the world's finest riding gear. Thank you very much. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.